This is problem 24 of chapter 8 of Giancoli 6 edition. So the problem asks us to calculate the net torque about the axle of a wheel that is shown in the figure. So the wheel is the following, it has an inner circle here. And in this inner circle there is a force being applied, I'll call this force FA. If you look carefully at the drawing you see that this force is perpendicular to the radius, okay? So they give you an angle here, but you don't care about this angle, this is just to confuse you. The force is already perpendicular to this radius, so this radius is the actual lever arm. Okay, and this wheel has an outer circle here, where we have other forces being applied. We have a force that I'll call the force FP here which is also perpendicular to the radius, and this is the radius RB. And we have another force here, which I'll call force FC, which is also perpendicular to the radius. Okay? Um, all of the values of the forces are given, and also the radius. And they also tell us that there is a friction torque, so this value of the friction torque is also given. Okay, so the question is, let's compute the net torque and let's give the direction of this net torque, if it's clockwise or counterclockwise. So I'm going to compute the torque associated with each one of these forces. So the torque for force A is FA and RA, so RA is the level arm, they are perpendicular, and this force is trying to move the wheel clockwise. So, according to the convention, clockwise is negative. Uh, the force B gives us the torque B, which is force B multiplied by the radius B. This force is trying to move uh, counterclockwise, so it gives a positive torque. And then we have the torque caused by force C, which is multiplied by that RB, that is also the level arm for force and this force B is trying to move the wheel uh, clockwise, so we know that the convention tells us that this should be a negative torque. Okay, we do not know about the friction torque, if it's positive or negative, uh, because we still don't know what is the torque, the total torque of this applied force. So let's have a look at that. The total torque of these applied forces is the sum of our them. Torque A plus torque B plus torque C. If you put the numbers there, you will see that you should get a negative result, meaning this torque, uh, the, this net torque, is trying to move this wheel uh, clockwise. Okay, so you will get this um, negative value. From this negative value, then you know that the friction force, then you know that the friction force, the friction torque should be positive against the torque by the applied force. Okay, so now with all this information, we can try to find the net torque. So the net torque will be the torque caused by those applied forces, plus the torque, uh, the friction torque. As we said, this one is negative, just by putting the numbers, and so this one has to be positive, and you'll get the net result. Uh, and this net result should still be uh, clockwise. This net result should still be negative, and therefore clockwise. 